The Delaware Museum of Natural History invites you on an adventure of discovery with over 100 dioramas and displays of birds, mammals, and shells. A visit to the museum offers a chance to see the familiar, the exotic, and the extinct. You'll be able to explore the plains of Africa, come face to face with a jaguar, walk under an eagle's nest, and enjoy the beauty and diversity of shells. The shell collection at the Delaware Museum of Natural History is one of the largest in this hemisphere, containing over 1,550,000 specimens, some of the finest of which are on display. The large collection of shells and birds at the Delaware Museum of Natural History are vital for medical and biological research. Specimens are routinely loaned to scientists around the world. The collections continue to grow as they are purchased and received from field expeditions and private donations. The museum also houses an outstanding research library and laboratory facilities. A special part of a visit to the Delaware Museum of Natural History is the chance to explore the discovery room. Actual specimens and active science games give visitors a chance to learn about natural history by doing bus trips, adults and children's workshops, lectures, field trips, and special exhibits are offered throughout the year. Annual events include Bird Day, Nature Affair Day, and Spring and Winter's Children's Weeks. The newest continuing program at the museum is Natural Wonders. It takes place the first and third Sunday of each month and is free with regular museum admission. Natural Wonders presentations can be slide lectures, demonstrations, or special films on natural history topics that are geared for the entire family's enjoyment. The Delaware Museum of Natural History is open seven days a week and is located five miles northwest of Wilmington. Whether you wish to become a volunteer, member, or to simply just visit, the Delaware Museum of Natural History is waiting to help you explore and learn about nature. And joining me now is my guest, Mary Jane Arden, who is the audiovisual coordinator for the Delaware Museum of Natural History. Mary Jane, welcome to Focus Delaware. Hi, thanks for inviting me. I understand you've had a special exhibition uh, taking place this holiday season? Well, we do. It's a very special event. It's something that we do annually at the museum. It's called Winter Children's Week. Mm -hmm. And this year it takes place right after Christmas, and it takes place December 26th through December 30th. And what it is, it's a special event, especially for vacationing school children and, of course, their parents, uh -huh. to give them something educational and yet fun to do. Mm -hmm. And I understand they go into a discovery room? Right. Um, the whole week we do a lot of special things, but most of it takes place in our discovery room, where the rest of the museum, everything is just, you can kind of look at it in the discovery room. We really encourage people to pick things up and touch them and look at them, mm -hmm. really explore them. Mm -hmm. And I understand you've brought with you some <laughs> artifacts, so you can yes. pretty much show us what the children see when they uh, do go through the museum. Yes, indeed. Um, this is a scientific specimen. It's not taxidermied. Um, this is a herring gull, something that you would see quite commonly around uh, Delaware beaches during the winter. Mm -hmm. And then this, some really big teeth. These are rhino teeth. And you actually let the children pick? Absolutely, yeah. That's the, the nicest items, uh, part of it. Is they can pick it up and really get a feel mm -hmm. for it. And then if I'll you hold the hold rhino, rhino teeth. teeth. <laughs> and then this little thing is an armadillo that comes from Florida. It's found all over the Southwest. Wow. And uh, I would imagine you get uh, a lot of interesting comments and expressions from the five, six, seven, eight, nine year olds that yes, go through there. Yes, we do. Them. Yeah, and these are some, of course, some of the smaller specimens that we have. We have an alligator in there, and we have a moose and a polar bear. So it's it's really exciting that the kids can go up and touch these things that normally, mm -hmm. you know, they've only seen on television or in a zoo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and then we have a lot of activities, too. This is a really simple little thing that I've seen a lot of people really have a lot of fun with it. You just take the cap off uh -huh. and take a whiff. Okay. And identify what it is. That's easy. Peppermint? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so I've seen a lot of people spend a lot of time with those. And it's a very simple little mm -hmm, thing. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting for the children. Yes, it is. And the adults okay. as well. What about admission? Um, admission to the museum. Well, Children's Week um, is regular museum admission. And for adults, it's two fifty. Mm -hmm. It's $1.75 for senior citizens, students, and children over six. And children under six are free of charge. Mm -hmm. And any other time during the year, do you have any special events for children? 
Uh, we also have a Spring Children's Week where we do many of the same things, but we also bring in a live animal show mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. um, for parents or for even youngsters that are looking forward to the Christmas vacation and the extra days where they're not going to have a whole lot to do, if they want to call the um, museum, can you give us the number? Yes, the um, museum number is 658-9111. Okay. Well, listen, Mary Jane, I've enjoyed talking with you. And I, you. I hope you have a successful turnout of all those youngsters who are getting a little bored um, staying home after they open up all their gifts and they need something extra to do. Well, I hope they'll stop by and visit us. Okay.